Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to the Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with day six in, yeah, today's day six. Um, happy Wednesday everybody. Today is my work Christmas party so I think like I said in yesterday's vlog this is all you're probably getting is just this quick little clip this morning. Um, maybe when I do editing I will let you guys know how much I read like I'll do like a little comment or something like that and I'm gonna try to get some fit footage of the restaurant but not of my co-workers obviously but no promises I'm gonna do my best but anyway I wanted to the squirrel and I wanted to sit down together and uh, of course do the advent calendar do you guys like my earrings so I'm wearing these a black shirt and I've got plaid pants on I'm going for all the festive today for the Christmas party and yes I did my hair myself this morning it, it does itself, basically. <laughs> That's just how I wanted it, which makes life easy. So, into the David's Tea Advent calendar. I did say it was a six. My uh, producer sitting behind me, uh, Garrett sitting behind the camera. It is the six, right, Jer? The six. Yeah, he's giving me the thumbs up. Thank you, Mr. Producer Man. And Presley's there, and George is here, and everybody's here. So, number six is up here. Let's cut that out. Today we have, I'm not wearing my glasses, <gasps> how appropriate for today, we have, wait for it friends, Candy Cane Crush. One of my absolute favorites, I love this one so much, so yay, I'm looking forward to enjoying this this afternoon with my, um, with my uh, cookies. So yes, day number six is where we were at for today. So now into the Cadbury's. Find number six, number six, number six. Um, right down here. Hey, we, we, we found them pretty easy today, my friends. So, oh, today we have a snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? These do not pop out easily. There we go. Got it. And today's question of the day is, where does Santa go on vacation? Well, Garrett, if you could hand the knitting bag on top. Um, he goes to cheap motels and swims with the uh, the reindeer. That's where Santa goes on vacation. And they, the reindeer play shuffleboard. And there's also one where he goes golfing. So that's what Santa does on his vacation. But what do you guys think that Santa does on his vacation? <laughs> All right, my friends, really short one today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye. Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Today is the 7th of December. So this is a two day vlog <laughs> yesterday and today. So yesterday I only did the opening clip showing off my advent stuff. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I had the Christmas party last night. I had a good time. I'll talk about it later on. Um, it is just after seven right now, about five after seven. I didn't sleep the greatest, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so I am tired and I still need to go downstairs and, uh, and make my lunch and all that fun stuff, um, for work and head out because it snowed last night because of course it did. So anyway, um, that's the one thing about having to go into an office. The one thing I do miss about having the ability to work from home is that on days like today, I do still have to go out and <laughs> my poor husband had to get up early and shovel the driveway and take out the... I almost said take out the groceries, take out the trash because it's trash day today and all that fun stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, so I will tell you guys all about that later. I also haven't gotten very much reading done over the last couple of days. It's been a weird couple of days. Like I had um, that, I had to go in early for that blood work on Tuesday and then I had my hair cut on Tuesday night and then yesterday was the Christmas party. So now we're back to normal. <laughs> Which, while I enjoyed doing those things, except for the blood work, that was not enjoyable. While I enjoyed doing the things like getting my hair cut and going to the Christmas party, I don't like a mess up of my routine. So I'm very happy to be getting back to my routine. So yay. Anyway, we'll make this quick. Today, it's a calendar. It is, like I said, the 7th. Um, so where are we here? 7-7. Seven, seven. There we are, down in the bottom. I'm not going to hold it up to show you guys, but there. Number... Seven. Very cute. I love, I do love the little designs on these things. So today's tea. Oh God, I don't have my glasses. Hold on. Bear with me. I don't know why I thought I should sit down here without my glasses on. <laughs> there we go. It is organic orange spice. Oh, that will be lovely for today. Organic orange spice. Yesterday's was delicious. It was Candy Cane Crush. It is one of my favorites, so guaranteed it was going to be a favorite. Um, so, and I'm still trying to figure out how to style my hair. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, 
I like it regardless. It's just, I, but still, when I get in the shower in the morning, the last two mornings, of course, you know, and I'm like, where's all my hair? <laughs> and of course, you're still using like the same amount of shampoo or conditioner that you would have used before. Yeah, it's fun times. And let's get into the Cadbury's. I did not eat this yesterday, so now I have two chocolates for today. Because yesterday it was like at three o'clock or three thirty, everybody started getting ready to go, and you know I was putting on my makeup and yada yada yada. So again, my normal routine was thrown off, and I don't care for that. But for certain occasions, I suppose it's okay. So here is number seven. Um, it's a car. I got a car. How appropriate for today, for driving into the office in the snow, little car. Um, so yesterday's question was where does Santa go on vacation? Um, so don't forget to answer that one as well. But we also have, um, how does Santa um, deliver your presents? Um, well, the chimney. I, I am very fortunate enough to have a house with a chimney. So that's how Santa delivers our presents here. But anyway, let me know in the comments below, you guys. <laughs> Clearly, these are presents meant, or these are questions meant for little children, but they work for us adults too, um, because we have the hearts of children. <laughs> um, so, anyway, guys, I will talk to you later today and give you a reading update. Bye, everybody. Hi friends, it is later on Thursday. It is about seven, it is exactly 7.30. Um, I have been home for a bit. I had my supper and um, washed my dishes from lunch today. And yeah, now I'm ready to sit and relax. But it was a great reading day so far today, which is fantastic. Um, like I said this morning, it's been an off couple of days and my routine's been a little messed up, so I am ready to get back to my boring old routine of going to work and coming home and relaxing and watching booktube and reading. It may not be exciting for some people, but it makes me happy, and that's all that matters. <laughs> so, um, talk about the Christmas party last night. So, um, it was fun. I, I, the restaurant was very, very hoity-toity. <laughs> Garrett and I like a good bar girl. <laughs> this was like a very high-end steakhouse. Um, and it's called the Octagon and it's in Toronto for anyone else who is familiar with the restaurant, if you've ever been there. Um, the food was good. Uh, the issue was <laughs> that I overindulged a little too much on the food. I didn't drink. I mean, not that there's anything you want to drink. Believe me, a lot of people were having a ton of fun last night, and that is perfectly acceptable. As long as you can handle it, go for it. Um, but uh, I overindulged in the food. So we were saying, like, last night and even today at work, that we could have just had the appetizers. Like, they kept bringing appetizers out to the table. And we could have just eaten those and been completely, you know, like, maybe add a few other things to, to kind of round it out a bit because it was mostly seafood, which I'm not a huge fan of. But the appetizers are what I, like, you know, ate pretty much. So it was like, first it was like pickles and olives. Is that anti-pasto platter? I think, I don't know. They had that out, a couple of those at each table, and then they brought out shrimp, which I don't like shrimp. Uh, bacon wraps, some of you are probably going, oh my God, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Garrett was. Bacon wrapped scallops. And then they had like, I want to say it's like shaved salmon, something. It was like salmon something, um, but it was like uncooked, but like shaved, like like lunch meat. I can't think of what to say. Um, the guy said it when he put the plate down, but I can't remember. There was like in beds of lettuce and with onion and stuff like that. But the bread, you guys, the bread. Oh my God. So you know those like little crostini toasts that are like this big? They had those and they were toasted, obviously. And both sides were garlic butter and they brought them out to the table and they were in the warm basket with like the, the towel over that. Oh, they were so good. And because you're sitting and sitting and waiting and everybody else is drinking and going around and talking and um, all the things, you know, me and a couple of the other ladies, we were just kind of sitting chatting at our table. And because it's right there, you're eating it, right? So then... They had a set menu for us for dinner. So you got to pick a salad, um, a main with a side, and a dessert. So I picked Caesar salad because that's what I love is Caesar salad. It was that, French onion soup, and something with balsamic vinegar, which I'm not a huge fan of. 
I don't like the sour vinegary taste. So like the, the pickles and stuff didn't interest me at all either. But then for dinner, you could have the beef, like it was a steak, um, or the chicken, or a salmon, or pasta primavera, which is what I picked, right? So it had, it was lovely. It was like penny noodles with this really yummy um, red sauce. And then it was like chock full of vegetables. Like there was zucchini and there was broccoli and there was like mushrooms and uh, it was really, really good. The problem was by the time we started eating, because we had been eating on all these appetizers, I was not hungry. Um, but I felt like I should eat something because I could, one cannot live off carbs alone. So just eating the bread was not going to get me very far. So I did eat um, about, I mean, they gave you a decent portion of, portion of pasta. I, get, I, I ate some. Um, and then the dessert. So the desserts were like a mousse or a tiramisu or a is it creme brulee, the one where they like, um, with the blowtorch on the top. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it. I've had, I always feel like it's fancy and that when I see it, I should get it because it's fancy. Like if you're going to be somewhere and someone else is putting the bill, you know, enjoy it. But I'm not a fan. Um, but what I got was they had pecan pie and I'm like, oh, I love pie. Oh my Lord, you guys, it comes out and it was this big. It was like the size of a small, like serving plate. So it was this, it looked like a giant cookie. Um, but it was the crust of the pie. So it was an individual pie. And then it was like the pecan stuff with the pecans on it. And then this like scoop of ice cream that was like the size of a baseball. There is no way. So of course I ate way too much of that too, right? Plus the fact of, now I'm going to go off a little rant here. <laughs> I just, this, this really bothers me. For whatever reason you choose not to drink or have um, an alcohol or an adult beverage when you're out, that's your choice and you do not need to explain it to anybody else. So me and two of the other ladies at our table, for various reasons, we were not drinking. I'm on certain medications. The ladies made their choice for whatever it is. that It doesn't matter why, because they didn't want to. End of, ball, end of story, you know what I mean? But yet, if you're not drinking at something like this, people, well, you're not drinking? And they literally will make fun of you, like in a way, you know, oh, look at the little, we're at the little kid's table. I heard that a couple times last night because we weren't drinking. Um, and it just angers me. It's no one else's business. You know, somebody could be a recovering alcoholic. Somebody could be pregnant and they don't want to tell anybody. Somebody just doesn't want to freaking drink. So be it. To me, it's the same thing as if we're there. And, you know, I don't want the steak. Oh, why don't you want the steak? What's wrong with steak? Why aren't you going to eat the steak? Because I don't want it. It's a personal choice and a personal... Per I don't know why, just in general, people feel like this is a thing. Like, this is something that they can... Do you know what I mean? Um, it's just... And then and the thing is, to those of us who don't drink, we then have to feel the need to justify it. You know what I mean? Like... And I just said, like, you know, I'm on medication. I just, I can't, oh, okay, you know, whatever. But then finally we just got, so, because of course our bells, so they forget, why are you still not drinking? Um, so the three of us, the, those of us who were not uh, uh, drinking um, alcohol, uh, decided to order virgin pina coladas. <laughs> and that shut everything. Because it looked like, you know, right? And we're like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. We're enjoying these. But, I mean, that's sugar, right? So the bread, the pasta, the dessert the Caesar salad and the sugar hit me last night, probably worse than the alcohol would have if I had been drinking. I did not do well last night, you guys. I was, honestly, I was sick to my stomach last night. Unfortunately, sorry for being gross. I know that sets a lot of people off, but that's all I'm going to say is it did not sit well on my stomach. Um, unfortunately, but God, that bread was so good. <laughs> I was talking to another girl at work about it. She's like, oh, I wanted to take it home. Um, <laughs> But all in all, I mean, it was a really fun night. Um, it, the one thing I noticed, unlike other companies I've worked for, they didn't do the whole big speeches thing. They didn't do, you come into this room and it wasn't a terribly huge room. Like we were really packed into that room. Um, and, you know, you sit down, you can sit wherever you wanted. And pretty much people just like mingled. You know, when even when food was after food was, pardon me, I've got hiccups. Even when food was being served, so like you get your salad and, you know, you might, 
stand uh, to, and then you might go somewhere else and actually eat it like take it to another table so people were moving around all the time and you know there was a very quick little speech like thank you all for coming it's been a great year blah blah blah. but I mean I've been at companies where they do these like 20 minute long speeches and I'm sure you're all familiar with it so that was I, that was actually kind of nice that <laughs> we didn't have to deal with that um I shouldn't say that. Didn't have to deal with it. Today, I thought for sure, I'm like, it's going to be a quiet day in the office tomorrow. You know, a lot of people were indulging, not just in drink, but also in food. Um, you know, maybe it might have been a later night for some people. It really wasn't. I got home just after nine last night um, because we got there just before five. I mean, you're eating and all those things. And then they pretty much everybody was leaving by like eight o'clock, 830. So I was home about nine, 930, I guess. And uh, anyway, I drove myself there and back. And uh, anyway, um, yeah, I, it was just a good night. And and I and the restaurant was nice. The food was good. If we if if I go there next year, like if I'm with, if the the firm decides to go there again next year, I, I will have to know. <laughs> Don't indulge too much in the bread. Two pieces. That's it. That's your cut off. <laughs> Or just say, I, I don't want a meal. I just want a basket of bread. Just please bring it here to me. And some vegetables. Let's round everything out, okay? <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is going to be a longer than normal vlog, but I did not record yesterday. So, um, yeah. Uh, I got some book and book adjacent mail. Um, so, first of all, I'll show you what I got. These were in the mail. I got these on, and I forgot to show you guys. Tuesday or what? Tuesday. Yeah, because yesterday was Wednesday, so Tuesday. So for those of you who also 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 ordered these and you don't want to be spoiled, um, you know, look away now. Um, but I got the 12 days of um, the, the Advent, 12 days of Christmas um, bookmarks from SJ Wonderlands. So they're all packaged together in one package. But I know a lot of people will open them and only like look at one a day. I open them all and just look at all of them. So I'm going to show them to you guys because I order these every year. They're slightly smaller than her normal bookmarks, but I really think they're super cute. And every year there's a different theme. And this, the theme for this year was the North Pole. So we have the elf on a shelf. Delightful. Uh, we have elf mail, special delivery at North Pole Express. Uh, delivery method, sleigh, arrived by December the 21st, 25th, and it's urgent. It's book mail delightful. This cute, cute, cute little like pattern, like cooking or baking, excuse me. We have books and cocoa. Super adorable. Snow is falling. The bookstore is calling. Absolutely. That was earlier today. Um, cozy up with a good book. Santa, like if I, if I was Santa Claus, I would be going down everybody's like into everybody's houses to deliver presents. I'd be like, Ooh, look, if there was a bookshelf, I'd never get anything else done. <laughs> I'd want to see what the people read. Um, all I want for Christmas is to finish my TBR pile and more books. <laughs> this one's super cute. North Pole Bookstore. Come for the books. Stay for the cookies. Can't go wrong with that. Santa's book club. I love this one. Um, this one says, whoops, these are all falling off. Welcome to the North Pole. And it's like Toy Workshop, Mail Depot, Candy Cane Lane, Christmas Tree Farm, North Pole Bookstore, Mrs. Claus's Sweet Shop and Cafe, and the Gingerbread Bakery. Really delightful. Ho, ho, ho. Off to the bookstore we go. And last but not least, this one just says the North Pole, and it's all the little houses adorable. I love these so much. Like I said, I, I order this set every year and I'm never disappointed. So yeah, I will leave link to her shop in the description box below. I don't know if you can still get these. It might be like too late to get them for Christmas, but um, you know, at least you'll have the set if you can get it. So the other book mail came from an author uh, from the lovely Katie Richards. So when you see this video, it's going to go up on Friday. Tonight, Thursday night, I'm going to do my random book from the shelf and I'm talking about the first book in this series. So if you guys don't watch my shorts or if you are interested in checking out the shorts or you haven't seen it, I do talk briefly about the first book in this series. But Katie sent me the newest release and I'm so excited. This comes out in January and I cannot wait to read it. So it is Under the Cover of Darkness by Katie Richards. This is um, the next, I think it's the sixth or seventh book in the West Investigation series. Bear with me just a second here. Um... Actually, I'm not going to talk about the first one. I'm going to talk about, I think it's the third one. The third one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
This is the seventh book. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh book. The seventh book in the series. I'm very, very much looking forward to getting to this one. Uh, her mission is to find a killer. His job is to keep a secret. So this is all, like I said, part of the West Investigation series. But, and I know, I, I'm, a, I'm a broken record, my friends. You can read these out of order. I'm telling you this. Um, you know, you're going to meet characters that you've met in previous books, but it's not going to change the story at all. You're not going to, you know what I mean? So it says, when a body is found on a deserted road, Detective Yara Thomas isn't convinced it's suicide. The victim's cell phone is missing. And why is Brandon West's business card in the dead woman's car? Complicating Yara's search for the killer is her romantic history with the prominent attorney. As desire flares again, she and Brandon must trust each other with their secrets or they might not uh, live to close the case. And also just to let you guys know, because intrigue is one of the lines where it depends on the author, the, the amount of steam or adult content in the book. And uh, Katie Richards does do a bit of steam. Not a ton, but a bit of steam in her book. So do keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, so this one looks really good. So thank you, Katie. I really, really appreciate you sending that to me. Um, oh yeah, I guess I should talk about what I've been reading. I finished a book today, my friends. Today I finished reading uh, Rescue Murder Gentleman by... Vicky Delady, the first book in the year-round Christmas mystery series. I gave it four stars. I thought it was cute. It took me a little bit too long to get through, but I think that was me. Like I said, a couple days I've been busy and this and that and the other thing. And I, you know, like, I just, it took me a little bit to finish. And, you know, it was fine. I mean, it kept me guessing as a mystery. I don't like the fact that there was a, a there's a potential love triangle. I'm really kind of over that at this point. And... I don't really know what else much to say about it. I mean, it takes place in a town that called Rudolph in upstate New York um, that prides itself on being like Christmas town. I, and I know this was talked about in the live show on Monday that some people didn't love this one because of the narration, because it made the char character... I don't know why I'm, having talking, why I'm having talking today. Why I'm having trouble talking today that some of the characters uh, seemed a little rude or snooty or something like that. And I did see that too. I, But... It is what it is, right? Um, how some of the characters came came off. Um, yeah, I mean, I was surprised by the killer, uh, sort of. I kind of about halfway through started thinking, maybe it's this person. Uh, no, maybe not. But then some of the clues, like the red herring started to come out. And I'm like, oh, okay. So it was cute. I mean, if you love Christmas and if you love cozy mysteries, you need to check out the series because everyone is Christmas themed, um, whether they take place at Christmas or Christmas in July, I think. So I will definitely, definitely be reading more. I mean, Vicki Delaney is a great, great author. So what am I currently reading? Well, I am still reading. Let me reach for my books here, my, my iridas. Um, I am still reading Merry Christmas Baby by Terry Wilson. Uh, I used my points and I got this because I, I had to return the library book that I was reading the three of them off of. Um, and I decided to support the author and pick up. These books are not expensive. They're like three or four dollars. So I thought, I'll oh, just support the author. I'll buy the book. So I bought the full book and I'm doing it, doing that for the last book in this bind up. And that's from Rochelle Allers. But anyway, I'll get to that book next. I've got four chapters left in this one. I do hope to actually finish this tonight. So yeah, I'm enjoying this one quite a bit. I will talk about it tomorrow. But then on the way home from work in the car, I started um, a new audiobook. And I only listened to the first chapter. And because I was kind of audiobooked out because that's how I finished reading um, uh, Rescue Murder Gentleman. So I did start another um, cozy mystery. Uh, and I know, again, those of you who are series readers are just going to cringe, but I think this is number 27 in the series, and it's uh, The Gift of the Magpie by Donna Andrews, which is uh, another book in the Meg Langslow series. Her book's titles are just amazing. Absolutely every single one is, like, bird-related. And the thing is with this series is that everybody's like, oh, once you get past the first one, the rest of the series is great. Don't waste your time reading a book that nobody else thinks is any good jump right into the next book. I have jumped around in this series. Um, I've read two. This is the second one that I've read. The other one was also a Christmas book. Um, the Christmas ones are like some of my favorites with the titles. Um, Owl, Be Home for Christmas, O-W-L is another one. Uh, but anyway, I listened to one of her other Christmas ones in this series a couple years ago. It's been a while, let's put it that way. And I listened to the first chapter of this one on audio on the way home, and immediately I, I, I recognized the names and the characters. So even though I've jumped around in the series, 
because that's the thing guys and here's my justification i could do a whole video i could do a whole video about why you don't need to read in series unless you're talking about lord of the rings or harry potter and the reason is because guys as readers how many things are we reading unless you are a binge reader like someone who reads the entire series from back to back to back to back to back it's been two years between books so does it really matter if i read book one and now i'm reading book two no it doesn't Jump around in the series. Read the ones that sound good to you. It's fine. So anyway, I do have this on my Kobo because uh, I borrowed it from the library as an e-copy. I have the audio copy um, from Chirp <laughs> of all places. <laughs> um, so yeah, on my uh, my big beast, my, my Kobo Sage, I am reading this one on. So the print is nice and big for my poor little eyeballs to be able to read. So yeah, I do listen to the audio in the car and a couple times, well, I did it on Monday and I did it again today. I've been taking my knitting to work and I sit on my lunch break and I eat and I knit and I listen to an audiobook. So that's been kind of nice to to be able to do. So I'll just show you guys the print size on this in case you're curious. I love I just the title. Just just the title makes me just it makes me happy. All the titles of her books make me happy. So actually the print's not that huge. Big enough. Nice size. So Last but not least, I've been talking to you guys for 20 freaking minutes. You're probably sick of me. I know, you're probably sick of me. The snow is all melted from this morning, by the way, you guys, in case you're curious. Well, it's mostly all melted. Um, so I'll show you guys my sock, and then I will let you go. Tomorrow's video will not be as long, because I will not have enough as much to yammer on about as I did today. Put that over there. So I got quite a bit done on my sock today at lunch, like I said. So this is where I was two days ago because I didn't get anything knit on it yesterday. So two days ago to where I am now. So I got all that done. So not a huge amount, but and you, I think you guys can kind of see the texturing in the sock itself. So I'm very, very happy. But anyway, that's my sock. All right, guys, I'll let you go and I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye.